to your body. Sometimes it's hard to step outside and really see you. I'm sorry for the times when I have called you names, diminished your beauty, and doubted your strength. I'm sorry for the abuse that I have accepted, the abuse that I have inflicted, the times I wanted to bury you and for the cuts that never seemed to heal. Your heart beats with passion for the world, for words, for friends, for ending hardship for others. You hurt deeply, but love just the same. Your breath and blood and braveness continue to inspire me. I stand constantly amazed by your resilience, your resonance, and your reach. Your muscles have broken bricks and boards and have caused bruises, but have learned over time how to soften and allow others in. Your legs and feet have brought you all over the world toward adventure, challenges, toward love, and they've helped me walk, run away too, from abusers, from pain, from those that did not serve me well. They've stood up to bullies, boyfriends, bosses, and betrayals. They've bent and knelt at grave sites, godly presence, and greatness. And those hands have held babies newly born, toddlers' hands, paintbrushes, diplomas, subway maps, weapons, sunlight, and the hand of my dying father. I thank you for allowing my warmth to radiate out through them. Your hips, thighs, and stomach, and arms, and breasts, I constantly criticize them, constantly to defeat their worth, for being too big, too soft, too much. And I'm sorry, because you have softened many blows and protected me from so much more pain. But they've also accepted much love, passion and pleasure on my behalf. I thank you for being patient until I was ready to trust again, ready to feel again. Your freckles, your curly red hair, both which I cursed throughout my childhood, both which I wished were normal, like all the little blonde girls named Kelly in my classes. But I'm proud that I never died you, or tried to make you anything but what you were, because now I see how lucky I am to have you and how amazing it feels to be different and uniquely me. Your mouth has helped me say I love you, goodbye, and thank you. Your mouth has sung in cathedrals, cried in hospitals, whispered on mountains and shouted in forests. You have given my thoughts a way to be born. You've gotten me in trouble, gotten me in fights, gotten me out of danger's way. You have tasted foods filled with spices and sweetness, and you have kissed and breathed life into love. Your eyes are wiser than they used to be. They have helped me to see the beauty in others and are slowly helping me to focus to see the beauty in you. They have held the gaze of someone who loved you more than you ever imagined. They have witnessed sunsets and death and dancing and finish lines. They have spoken volumes on my behalf when I couldn't bear to utter the words. I love you and thank you for allowing me a vessel that presents my soul to the world. I thank you for accepting the weight of my abuse and the scars of my sadness. I love you and thank you for allowing me to dance and sing and create and love and laugh and cry and kick and breathe. I love you and thank you for forgiving me and for loving me even when I didn't love you back.